Hello, my name is Rob Wagoner with Microsoft. Thanks for joining me again. Today, I want to spend a few minutes and show you Shared Nothing Live Migration from Hyper-V in Windows Server 2012. Shared Nothing Live Migration means we don't have to share storage anymore. We can move a virtual machine while it's running from one locally attached disk to another locally attached disk, even on another server. Today, what I'm going to do is show you this Windows 7 virtual machine I have running and we're going to live migrate it from the host H1 where it currently resides to host H2. So the first thing I want to do is show you that host H2 only has one local disk attached, my D drive. And as you can see, this is just a simple serial ATA attached drive. I also want to show you that I have no iSCSI drives currently connected to this machine. All of them are inactive. So when we do this live migration, we will be migrating over just the local area network. Now this is going to take longer than a typical live migration because we're having to copy the whole virtual hard drive from one host to the other. And the virtual hard drives for this virtual machine are about 14 gigabytes. So it'll take a few minutes. We're going to time it though so you can see how long it takes. Before we get started, I want to flip over to the virtual machine in question. This is the virtual machine we're going to move. I'm going to use the same video and clock I used in my prior live migration videos just to kind of get some perspective. So what I'm going to do is flip back over to my host for a moment and choose move to live migrate this machine. I choose next and determine what move type. I'm going to move the virtual machine. I could just move the virtual machine storage. We'll look at that another time, but right now we're going to move the whole virtual machine and storage. Like I said, we're going to move this to the server H2, so I can type that in, or I could choose Browse and browse my Active Directory for my other hosts. Choose my Move options. I'm going to move all my data to a single location. I could split this up and move VHDs to separate hard drives on the destination. Let's say we have multiple virtual hard drives and we want to manage disk I.O. I could split them up. Or I could move only the virtual machine, so if this disk storage is visible to both hosts, I could move just the virtual machine and leave the VHDs where they reside. Similar to shared storage and our cluster configuration we're used to in Server 2008 R2. Now, I'm going to pick the destination for this virtual machine. As I said, I only have one hard drive here, so I'm going to store it on this hard drive, and I'm going to put it in the W7 folder. Now before I click move, I want to bring back my virtual machine for a moment so that we can get a time scale before we get started. I'll shrink this a little more to just the clock. So as we can see, it's right at 455 and I'll wait for the 30 second mark and then click finish and start the migration. And so now we're starting the live migration, and I'm going to move this progress bar up in the corner. I'm going to show you. Remember, these are where our virtual hard drives reside now. And here's the destination. Notice how I have a few more folders now. When I open virtual hard disks, you'll see the two VHDs are sitting there, and you'll see that the Win7 Ant VHD is growing. This is as the bits are being copied over the wire. All of this is going right over the network. If we open Task Manager, we can actually see some of the network I.O. occurring. If you'll look, all three of my network cards are actually taking on traffic. This is all the normal traffic plus this live migration and this live copy going on. While this is happening, I'm going to move back to my virtual machine for a moment. Now I'll move back to the video and restart this video so you'll see what happens during the live migration transition. What I'm also going to do is pause recording now and come back to you right before it completes. Because of the clock, you'll be able to see how long this takes. The live migration is about to complete, so I'm going to come back to you. It's got less than a gig of VHD to copy. So as you see, our progress bar has made progress. And here in just a minute, we'll see the progress bar go ahead and wrap up as we move the last few bits of data and do the actual live migration handoff from one host to the other. So 
So now the bits have finished copying. And as you can see, it's doing the rest of the wrap up. Progress bar is moving much faster. And that little blip was actually the handoff from one host to the other. So now we've successfully moved our virtual machine. I'll go ahead and pause this. And you'll see that that virtual machine is now running on H2. That's Shared Nothing Live Migration. I hope this has been helpful, and I hope to talk to you soon.